Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking magical gestures. But before we do, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com and I help witches and Wiccans craft a spiritual practice, a magical practice that helps connect you to nature, your true self and the gods themselves. And I do that through my course and I do it also through one-on-one -on -one coaching. The whole point of Mystery Witch School is to help you become more empowered so that you can live a life of joy, peace, and that sovereign sense of self. And if you're interested in knowing where to start your witchcraft practice, but you don't know where to begin and what to do, have a look at my free PDF, How to Start Your Witchcraft Practice. The link is in the description field below this video. Today I wanted to show you how you can use magical gestures in your work. Now in some secret schools there are particular hand gestures that you may know of or you may even do. But these are ones that you create yourself. And we do that through the same means that you would create a trigger through hypnotherapy or neuro-linguistic programming. And that helps you, you psychologically connect to the gesture so that the gesture helps put you in a particular way of feeling and being to help attract to you what it is that you're wanting to attract. Now you may use the gestures to help you with your magic. You may use the gestures to just help you in everyday life. The gestures can be as complex as you want them to be. They can be like mudras that you would get in the Eastern traditions, or they can be something really simple that you can use discreetly because you may feel that you need to do something on the fly. You may be surrounded by other people and you don't want them to know what it is that you're actually doing. So one of the first ones I wanted to show you is an example of a gesture where you feel you may need to bring up your psychic shield. Maybe you're in the presence of somebody who sucks a lot of energy out of you. You might be in an environment where there's people around you who are quite toxic and so you're just wanting to bring like a shield of energy around you. You may practice on a regular basis the, the shielding, whether that's surrounding yourself with various different colored light or some sort of a shield where it may be reflective, so you're reflecting uh, anything coming at you. Whatever it is that you may be using, you can use a hand gesture to help bring that down around you. The one that I use is simply my hands bringing down the shield. So if it's a white light shield, for example, just imagine that that shield of white light is just coming over you and covering your energy field right down from the tip of your head or above the tip of your head, right down into under your feet and it's just engulfing your energy field and you bring that down with your hands, your hand gesture. And the way to feel into this so that it becomes an unconscious connection is to set it up as a trigger. So feel into what it would feel like to feel safe, to feel like you've got this protective energy around you. Imagine this beautiful white light or golden light or whatever it is that you use as a shield. People use different things. And really put yourself in the moment. Build that shield and feel into that shield and what it feels like. So you might be projecting the light out from your heart so that it's surrounding you. And then when you're really feeling, when you really feel that, that critical point of the energy where you're, the field really is there, you're really in it, you can really feel the protective energy of it, then bring all your fingertips together like this or whatever hand gesture you want to use, hold it there for 15 seconds and then let it go. And then build that feeling of the shield again, put the shield around yourself, feel into that energy of the shield. And then when you feel that that energy is really at its peak, again, do the hand gesture, hold it for 15 seconds, then let it go. And then repeat that process one more time. Build your shield, feel the energy of the shield, and then when you really feel that it's hit that, that awareness, that it's really there and you feel it emotionally that it's there, you feel the safety of it, 
do the hand gesture. Hold it for 15 seconds and then you're done. That creates subconsciously a, a trigger so that when you are feeling like you need that shield, all you have to do is bring your hand gesture down, bring your aura down, bring your, your shield down or your shield up depending on how you say it. Now for 21 days after you do this you want to do it every day. So when you are doing a shield make sure that you do your hand gestures every day for 21 days. If you are out and about and you remember to do your shield <laughs> then do your shield because you need to practice this for 21 days in order for it to really get into your subconscious mind. So it's something you've got to keep up and then after the 21 days is over you don't need to keep practicing it every day it should be in the subconscious mind so that you may be out and about or you may be feeling you're under maybe some psychic attack or something whether it's conscious or unconscious from another person you can just do the hand gesture and that actually brings your shield up so that's one way that you can use your gestures for your magic another one that I like too is the idea of the fingers crossed. That's the whole thing of, you know, fingers crossed that something's going to happen. It's like a wish when you cross your fingers. And I see that the fingers crossed gesture is like two becoming one. So it's like two, two things coming together. It's like coming together, bringing something together. So you could use that as a magical gesture to bring something to you. So maybe you cross your satin finger over your Jupiter finger for example to to bring things together so you've got that that coming together of the expansiveness of Jupiter and the concrete organized aspects the positive aspects of Saturn so bringing them together and creating something you could just do the sign and mentally do the spell in your head, you could do the sign as you're chanting a spell, you could do the sign to point at something if you're wanting to bring something to you. So together with the two bringing it to you. So it might be something that you, you see that you want, maybe it's that new car <laughs> or something like that. You can use that, that idea of grabbing it and bringing it together so that the two which is you and the other thing actually become one you actually have it with you so that's another way that you can work with a gesture you can work with gestures in regards to doing manifestation work so if you've got a petition spell for example you've got of course the manifestation triangle so when you place that triangle over your petition over your candle over your tarot card depending on what you're using in your spell work you're, you see through this triangle into the manifestation itself. So you're looking through this triangle at the result that you're wanting to achieve as if it's already been achieved. So that's how you can use the triangle of manifestation in your spell work. There are three examples of what you can use. You can use the elements as well. There, of course, is the elemental triangles. Uh, there's this sign here, which is one that I learned um, in my coven this is like if it's pointing down it's like this you can use this as a water triangle this is also a, a symbol of in other secret societies as well but you turn it into the symbol that has meaning for you because it's your relationship to your subconscious mind not somebody else's subconscious mind so a water triangle a fire triangle with it pointing upwards and if you're wanting to work with the other triangles where they usually have the cross like the earth and the air you could even just try and do a bit of a cross by moving your thumb down. So if you're doing the earth triangle, you may do it like that. The air triangle, it would be upright doing the same thing. If you want to get a bit more pedantic, with the water triangle, left, left thumb over right thumb. With the fire, fire triangle, right thumb over left thumb. That's to do with the water being the element that's a feminine element and the fire being a masculine element. 
So when you're doing elemental work, elemental magic, or maybe you're just trying to bring in more of an element somewhere, you might be in a bit of a fiery environment. Maybe there's some people having an argument and you're like, oh, I don't like this. It's not, this isn't too good. You might want to throw some water at it, <laughs> try and, you know, calm them down a little bit. Then you can use the, the water uh, sign and uh, project the essence of water and the essence of water energy out there into the environment to try and calm things down. So that, that's just some fun ways you can work with gesture. If you set these gestures up the same way we did the aura gesture, where you feel into it, then do the gesture for 15 seconds, let it go, repeat that two more times and then for 21 days remember every day to to practice that gesture and that feeling to set it up in your subconscious mind then all you have to do after that is do the gesture and your subconscious mind should already be connected to it and already be creating the magic so fun things to do with mudras and gestures have fun with that as I said at the beginning, if you want to know where to start your witchcraft practice, but you just don't know where to start, then have a look at that free video, where to start your, how to start your witchcraft practice. If you do want to learn witchcraft with me, have a look at the Mystery Witch School 101 Academy. There's also a link to that in the description field below this video. It's where you can come to learn witchcraft with me as your mentor, with a group of like-minded people. We do get together live over Zoom twice a month, and you also get to do your, your study course in your own time at your own pace as well so that you can really get started practicing your craft and create a life of meaning and purpose if you like the video hit the like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe i'm sandra from mysterywitchschool.com blessed be mm -hmm.